y'all. So it is Friday, April 5th, and I am going to start a weekend reading vlog. So I thought that would be kind of fun. So it's actually 11 a.m. right now on Friday, and I'm actually up at a normal person time. <laughs> so yeah, I woke up to the crack acid on today. I've been sleeping a lot the past few days and I actually feel pretty okay right now. Not as tired and I think my like, I don't know, I was just super tired so, but I'm okay now. So I've been up since like 5 a.m. and because I went to sleep at like 7.30 last night. <laughs> Basically what I'm doing right now is getting all of the school that I have left over for this week done so that way I can read all weekend because I really need to get my reading up something awful. It's embarrassing how little I've read this year and like my wrap up for March is gonna have to like be a combination again with my April TBR jar picks. However, I actually did good with the TBR jar picks last month. So in March, I uploaded a wrap up combined with a TBR jar video and I actually read two out of the five books that I withdrew from the TBR jar. I think it was five, maybe, I think, I might be wrong about that, but I read two and I was pretty happy with that. And then I read two other books that weren't on the TBR jar and that's all I read that whole month. So <laughs> I'm trying to really prioritize reading and not focus so much on school to where I don't take any time for myself to read. That's what I'm doing this weekend. I'm just going to really take the time for myself and enjoy some books. And I actually did participate in Zoe's readathon last weekend, but I didn't vlog it. And I kind of just wanted to see what I could do without vlogging because every time I do a readathon, I vlog it. And every time I feel like I like get really tired and then, or I feel like so much pressure because I feel like I have to do like really good or read a certain amount of books in order to do good. So then I kind of like sock myself out, which is so dumb. I know like you don't have to tell me how stupid I am. I know that. <laughs> And I ended up not filming any of it, and I read two pretty big books in one day. So I'll tell y'all what I read in my wrap up. I'm not gonna say it here, but I read two books, and they were big books. Like the first one was over 500 pages, and then the second one was 700 pages. So I read like 1300 pages within that time. So I thought that was pretty damn good. <laughs> but I think that's, yeah. Yeah, so I did read last weekend, but I made sure that I was going to get all of my schoolwork done by Friday, but like Friday evening, Friday night, so that way I could just completely have Friday night, Saturday, and Sunday all to myself to read. So right now I have to read a short story for my women's literature class. I'm reading Sweat by uh, Zora Neale Hurston. It's about 10 pages in this. This is from the um, Great Short Stories by American Women. So like an anthology basically. But I'm about ready to sit and read this and then I have to answer some questions about that. And then I have to just go over my government notes and then take my weekly quiz and that and then I'll be done. So, and this afternoon, my dad and my brother and I are gonna go to our church and clean the sanctuary. So we like volunteered to clean parts of the church uh, every quarter. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing this evening. It shouldn't take too long. My mama just had like a procedure, uh, so she can't go. But yeah, hopefully you'll see mama a little bit in this vlog. I think that's it for now, but I'm gonna go ahead and just continue this mess. Um, not mess. This is actually pretty good. Oh, I was going to tell y'all that, um, I do have to film this weekend. I'm filming the, uh, March wrap up and the, uh, April TBR jar video. So like I said, the March wrap up is not going to be long enough for its own video. So I'm just combining the two and what I'm going to do, I told y'all I needed to update my TBR jar because this is what it is now. So this is the TBR jar now. There's, I have so many more books than this in this jar and there's even more like over there and then there's more on my floor like I have books everywhere uh so I want to change this and I actually have some colored post-its that I think I'm gonna use and I think I'm gonna like um do what my reading is odd 
Her name is Natasha. She is so funny. I love her. Like, so I'm going to kind of can't do the stars that she does. She does TBR stars, but I'm not that crafty or artistic to do that. I am the absolute worst when it comes to anything artsy. I can't. What I planned on doing was like getting like these colored um, papers and kind of just dividing them into like four different sections so like orange would be like thriller horror and then blue would be fantasy sci-fi a pink would be contemporary romance and then these it's green <laughs> um i'm thinking about doing green for solely maybe like stephen king or classics other classics and then i'll just keep stephen king in the horror genre. So just four different colors. Not a lot, but it'll keep it a little more interesting, but total inspiration from my reading is odd. And I'll say that in the video too, but I thought that'll be good because I need to update it. And yeah, so I really need to do that. But that's all for now. I'm going to go ahead and start school and then I'll just update y'all later. Bye. Hey y'all, so it is a little while later, still Friday, but it's like evening, 6.30ish. I got finished with school around 12.30 in the afternoon, and then uh, just did some stuff around the house, like the sheets and some dishes and some laundry, and now I am sitting down to continue my little TBR jar thing. Hello, Jackie Joe. So I'm going to continue doing that. My room is a disaster right now. I want to finish the TBR jar thing tonight. And then I'm going to blow dry my hair because I just got out of the shower. And then I'm going to put on some lot makeup. I don't even think I'm going to put like on mascara. I think I don't even know if I'll put any makeup on at all. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood, but maybe I will because I have the ring lot and it brings out everything. So I don't know. Maybe I will. I want to film me picking oh that's better the tbr picks for this month because i'm gonna do six five or six then i can maybe pick from that stack for this my weekend reading vlog because i don't know what i want to read yet and if i have a tbr stack i will spend less time sitting here thinking about what i'm gonna read and more time actually reading so i really want to film that tonight and yeah so i'm gonna finish this whole tbr situation and yeah so i will update y'all later bye hey y'all so it's sunday now haven't done great vlogging so sorry about that this has been a really horrible reading vlog and i don't really know what to do about it but it's hard to talk about the book that i'm reading right now honestly so so let me try to explain to y'all what i'm reading <laughs> i'm reading my lovely wife by samantha downing i'm over halfway so I'm gonna finish this today, but it's it's always so hard to talk about thrillers because even though, like, listen, I have so much to say about this book. I wanna talk about it so much. Like, I have so much to say, but I can't say any of it because it's all spoilers. So, but I guess I can tell you what it's about. I haven't done that yet. I'm I'm really not great at summaries, so. I'm good at writing summaries. If I had a, like a piece of paper or a computer to top it all out, I would be perfect. But um, not really good at saying it aloud. <laughs> I guess I can just, yeah, tell you what it's about. So My Lovely Wife is about a married couple and they are very, very normal. They, you know, have average lives. They have two kids. They have jobs, they have financial troubles like most people in America do. They're pretty average, they hang out with friends. But they have this crazy pastime that they love to do, and that is they like to murder people. Women. So yeah, these two people, so the husband's name... What is the husband's name? I know the wife's name is Melissant. What is the husband's name? He's narrating it, so you rarely hear his name. If at all, have they said his name? <laughs> okay, I guess I was trying to look at the cover of this, but I don't see where his name is. He, I'm, I can't remember if they've actually ever said his name. 
they probably have like it's it's probably been said and I'm just can't remember I just know his wife's name Melissa which is weird you think I'd know the narrator's name but I'm blinking right now I can't think of it anyways yeah they like to kill people so not people they love to kill women so just women and this book is so twisted and weird and amazing though like it's so good but it's so up like it's just crazy to me that this has even been written but I'm so glad it was written because it was it's good like so good there's a lot of theories that I have right now because even though there's not the mystery of who's killing everybody there's still a lot of loose holes basically like things that they've talked about in their life that I feel like maybe didn't happen something along those lines like one of them is a compulsive liar maybe or both of them I don't know I just it's crazy I don't know it's just it's hard to talk about it because like I said I can't give anything away to explain to you why I believe that one of them is a compulsive liar and that they're not who they say they are it's I can't explain that they're like in love and they get really turned on when they murder people so that's really weird <laughs> like I, I don't even know what to do with that like how <laughs> I can't even kill a spotter, so if I had to kill a person, I, oh my god, I don't even, mm -mm, can't, I can't even. Ugh. That's really all there is to update on right now. This vlog has been boring. Oh my god. <sighs> well, yeah, I'm gonna finish this. I'll let y'all know what I think of it. It's so good. And honestly, like, it's hard. If I'm not liking a book, it's easier to talk about, but if I'm loving a book, I find harder thing. It's hard to talk about it more. Like, to, I, it, it's, all I can say is that it's amazing and if it were like a contemporary or even a fantasy I could elaborate on why I think it's amazing but with this it's so spoilerly because the the reasons I love it I'm going over them in my head and they're all spoilers so I can't say it and it's driving me crazy I might do a like a spoilery review of it at the end I don't know no I won't because this book just came out and not everybody's read it so I won't do that but I'm going to go ahead and read now, and then after I'm finished reading this, I will tell y'all what book I'm going to read next, so I'll just update y'all later. Bye! Hey y'all, so I have a theory about my book. So I realized, I said in the last clip, that this book, I, I can't remember the husband's name, and I can't. And I really don't think that he has said his name once. I really don't think that, and I think it's on purpose. I can't say what's going on, because spoilers, and I feel like him not having a name fits into the story. We'll see. He has fake names that he uses. It's part of his, you know, like, him and his wife's little hobby. He uses fake names for his victims, like, to lure them, lure, lure them in or get to know them, so weird. <laughs> but, yeah, I think I have an idea. But I don't know. But I'll let y'all know if I'm right. I won't tell you what it is that I'm right about, but I'll let y'all know if I'm right. I get irritated because, like, I love mysteries. And I love thrillers. Because I do like to figure stuff out. And I'm on page 227 right now. I feel like, I don't know, it's irritating when you find out early. Like, I still have, like, a hundred and... And... 30 something pages left so it's irritating to find out a little earlier if I'm right but also it's kind of like yes I figured it out you know it's kind of a weird thing like I don't want to figure it out but it's like yeah I do <laughs> I'm gonna continue reading and I'll see y'all later <laughs> bye hey y'all so I just wanted to say that I finished my lovely wife by Samantha Downing I have to say I am disappointed and it's, it's a good book like I still think people should read it because it is a good book but it it was disappointing for me everything was predictable the ending and even like you know how there's always this big reveal but then there's also tiny reveals that come in the end like after the big reveals made then you get all these other tiny reveals that has happened throughout the book and what's sad is I predicted most, if not all of them, which makes me really, really sad. And I I don't like predictable books. That was a big issue I had with Gone Girl. I knew almost instantly who 
was doing all these horrible things in this book. And Gone Girl, like, I liked the book. It was a good book, but it was so predictable and easy. And I'm not saying that it, this is, like, a kind of a good discussion to get into. Like, is should a thriller be based on, should a thriller be good or called great based on the book itself or how big the twist ending is? Like, I feel like it's unfair for me to say, oh, I'm going to give this book a low rating because the and did not surprise me and the mystery was predictable and I had thought about thought it for a long long time like since the beginning so I don't know but I feel like this author didn't have any intention to shock anybody I feel like her intention wasn't shock value I feel like it was us reading the story that this was what makes it a good, a good book how good the story is how good she planned her writing like it was good her characters and also just setting it up so the character can figure out everything that's happening in time like in his own time and I feel like she did an amazing job and this book was freaky and weird but good and I don't know like I want to give it a four is what I'm thinking it's not a five for me and it would have been a five if the ending wouldn't have been so predictable because literally the first thing I said when I read this book, I was like, oh, it can't be what I'm thinking now because that's way too obvious and easy. Yeah, it's it was so predictable. Like, that's the only thing I'll tell y'all going into this if you want to read it. If you don't like predictable thrillers, don't read this. It was so predictable. Like, easy to figure out wasn't a problem to figure out. My mom's listening to it now, and I'll let y'all know what she says later. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was okay. It was, I mean, it, was, it wasn't okay. It was really good. Like, the story itself, like, I'm, like I said, it's a good book. Like, as a whole, the writing, the the plot, the the build, all of it was good. Just the ending was a little anticlimactic. But it was still, it was still a good book. I just wish that the ending wouldn't have been as easy as it was. It's still, even when you find out who did it, you're still on the edge of your seat, like, about ready to just like bot your fingers off because you're like so nervous <laughs> but this book was good I think that's my rating of four is my final rating it was a good book it was I mean a four is a pretty freaking good rating so it was definitely above average but it's not a five for me <laughs> after reading Behind Her Eyes I don't think I can find a thriller to rate a five anymore Behind Her Eyes was so good and creepy and amazing that I just don't know if there is another book that I could rate or another thriller I could rate higher than that. I'll let y'all know what my mama thinks and tell y'all what book I start next and then we can end the vlog. So yeah, but I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay, so after some more consideration, I think I'm actually gonna give this book a 4.75 out of five stars because I was just sitting there thinking and I was like, this book is so good. I don't feel comfortable just giving it a four. Like I feel like it deserves more, but I, can't, I don't wanna give it a full five because I was disappointed that all of the twists in my opinion were super predictable. But even if a twist is predictable, as long as it's done well and revealed well, that's what matters. And she did really good. And I didn't want to not give her credit for that. For even though she had predictable reveals, she made it so much fun to have it unveiled. Like, it was so much fun. So, I am going to give it a 4.75 out of 5 stars. And that's very specific, but that's me. I know that annoys some people, specific ratings like that, but that's just who I am. <laughs> I gave it a five star on Goodreads though, officially, because I just think it deserves it. Like after sitting and thinking for like an hour, I was like, it's, it's good. Like it needs a five, <laughs> but that's all I really wanted to say. And you know, after I finished reading a book, my ratings are always so up and down. Like <laughs> it's never just a steady like, I never can just decide something unless it's, like, an automatic five-star read or an automatic horrible read. If it's somewhere in the middle, I really go back and forth with my ratings. But I'm positive that this time, this is my final rating. Unless it just comes over me to just give it a full five stars, which I don't think it will. But this book was fantastic. So, do recommend it. Strongly recommend it, actually. I'm gonna go decide what I'm gonna read. I have been sitting here thinking about the rating and not reading, so yeah, but I will update y'all later. Bye. Hey, y'all. Hello. She finished the book. Yes, it was really good. 
What did you rate it? Five. Okay. I rated it a 4.75 just because I wish that some of the twists weren't so predictable, but just 0.25 stars lower. So, look at Jackie Joe. He thinks he needs another treat. But he doesn't. She's Gonna Listen to You by Caroline Kepnis now. That's a good book, too. I really like that book. I kind of want to read The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I'm worried about you. Cause the last time I couldn't get through the first chapter. It freaks her out it really bad. Out. It gets better. You really actually like him. Good. So well, I like the guy in um, My Lovely Wife. I mean, wife. he was creepy, but... Kind of rooted for me. Yeah. Okay. Crazy when you root for serial killers. <laughs> I know. Weird. That's how you'll feel with you. You'll be like, what is wrong with me? You'll be like, why am I like this? <laughs> but that's it for the weekend reading vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I am going to keep reading, but this is going to be hours long if I don't stop. So subscribe if y'all want to like the video. And I'll see y'all the next one. Bye.